<laughs> right, this thing, it's a pain in the f arse. On the top here, we've got cells 1 to 13, and then on the bottom, we've got 14 to 26. Now, I've, I ran this the other day, and I ran it until it was basically empty, and it was saying sort of like about 20% battery, and I thought, okay, I'll come back. And I was halfway back, and it cut out. Now, one of the cells, when it gets to about, I'd say about 3.1, 3.05 volts sort of area, it drops like a bloody stone. That's one of the one of the downsides of these CATL batteries. Is number one of the well, they don't, I mean they're cheap, but number two, you, you'll never get a match pair. Um, I've got all those down there, and I'm making the best out of everything I possibly can, and use the rest for solar. But for electric bikes, they are pretty shit, to be honest. So I've got to take this battery out again. Obviously, everything's got to come out. I've got to get access to underneath, and I've got to replace cell number 14, which is the first one. And I think it's over there. It's the one that's connected to the end of this, basically. It's always the bottom ones. I don't know why, but <laughs> that's the way it works. I mean, even the one that I bloody near enough set fire to. Um, that one's all right. It's this one. So when it gets to about uh, 3 volts, probably, I don't know, it might be a bit lower or higher, it drops like a bloody stone, and the rest of them, they're perfect. So that one's got to come out, and it is relatively easy to take these things out, believe it or not. You might think that I'm not safety conscious because of the videos I've released. I've released those videos so as you don't make the stupid mistakes that I do because that's what I'm here for, is to teach people, believe it or not. So, just take note of what I do and avoid it. It's, it's things like when you're taking a, uh, taking a nut off and, a, and there's a washer beneath it in a bus bar, take the nut off, put it down. Take the washer off, put it down. Take the bus bars off, put them down. One at a time if you have to or whatever. But make sure you, it's damage limitation basically, it's to stop things from happening. Because if you just undo a nut like that, and you spin it and it comes off, then it's gone somewhere, and nasty things happen. And also, when you've got your socket like this, you, 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 un, you undo a nut, and you're tempted to do that. Right? Don't do that, because when you lift this thing off, that nut can go anywhere. So... Always loosen it with a socket, take it off with your fingers, make sure you've got contact all the time. Don't spin it, don't do anything because nasty things can and will happen. So I've got to carefully get this out with my... Where are they? I carefully put it in here, make sure that there's nothing in the way. I put my glasses down so I can see what I can do, in, what I'm doing, and hope they don't fall off. And then I've got to grab it like that. And grip bloody tight and pull it out to there there's the two parallel cells so I'm going to replace them for two of these or the ones which are the same as uh, these other ones are different so I don't know those yet I don't expect them to be perfect because the CATL cells and the chemistry in everyone's completely bloody different I reckon but these two I know you cannot drain them below about three volts because they go mentally low very quickly so I've got to independently test those the same as these actually I'm going to get ones near enough the same voltage of 3.3 or 3.2 volts I can't remember I'm going to slap them in and everything is going to be perfect these two have been sitting over there for I don't know a month and they're still at 3.3 volts so I know they're holding the voltage but like I say it all depends on chemistry I think they must put a spoon of dog shit in some of them I ain't got a clue simple as that now I've got to connect the series up put it all back together and away we go again I'm just putting the screws back in here uh, and I've got to put the screws in the front and then I've got to put the battery cell the four parallel cells in there while the series link up, put the balance wires on, and away we go. And hopefully, this is the last time I ever, ever have to take it apart. Doctor in the house. 
doctoring. I don't like doing this with one hand. Positive, negative. No, I'm gone. This one is a is the close one. That's probably about three millimeters from the next one, but it ain't gonna shift anyway. I can tighten them up to stop that bloody thing moving. I can plug the balanced wires in now and see if anything goes bang. If I've wired it up correctly, put the balance leads in correctly, everything will be fine. So cell number 14 was 3.9, 3.3, that's correct, that's what I had it set to. So I need to charge balance and hopefully that one now, cell number 14, will go down in, a, in, in correspondence with the rest of them which are all at pretty much the same. So. I'm going to get the charger on it and see what happens. Today, I'm going to fix this for the last time. It's coming apart. Cell number 23 on here, which is in the bottom, has got a problem. And I've had this problem for a long, long time now, is finding the match pairs. So what I've done is, I've done some very, very technical scientific calculation i've charged them all to 3.4 volts or made sure that they get to it um, some of them don't because they go from 3.35 to 3.6 volts quite quickly so we've got out of the eight cells i've tested that one that one that one and that one have shot up to 3.5 3.6 volts now this one, after 20 minutes, it got to 3.43 volts. So I started at 3.4 volts, and then after 20 minutes, it got to 3.43 volts. I know it's not, it's not a perfect scientific calculation. I know I've got to do the internal resistance or read that, which I haven't got the equipment to do, and I won't have. So I'm trying to find out a scientific way that I can do this. So that's the only way I know. Well, that's the only way I can actually figure out. Now, I've got to do uh, a, a bottom test as well. Not on myself. Um, I'm not having that done again. That was the most unpleasant experience ever. <laughs> so I've got to do a bottom test whereby some of these cells, there's two problems, is the charging and the discharging. So it's, it's you know, it's the battery completely. So the charging goes to three point three five volts or thereabouts and then the voltage shoots up that's one problem and the second problem is some of them go down to two point uh two point nine volts i think it is and then the voltage drops like a bloody stone when i first built this uh the missus went out and she was having fun doing shopping and stuff like that that women do and she ran out of juice and i can't let that happen again because when she came back, some of the cells were at 3.2 volts. And I thought, well, I don't quite understand why uh, one cell dropped like a bloody stone. And now it's sit it was sitting at about 3.1 volts or something like that. It was sitting at 2.9 volts. And I thought, well, that's not really a very good cutoff, is it? I can't do logs like VBMS. When it was done, uh, it logs all the data. So I can see if there was any dip that was the good idea, that was the good part about it, was the, was the data logging, but you can't use it anymore because they've changed the, 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 um, uh, the BMSs. So I've got no real way of logging data unless I buy a data logger. And I'm going to take the thing apart for the last time and then we'll see where we go from there. And I've got to go, go out and do more testing on it. Hopefully I can charge it to 3.4 volts now. So I know I can charge the 3.2 volts on them. Um, but I want 3.3 or 3.4. <laughs> anyway. I've got to take it apart. Here goes for the very last time.
this is the one that's causing me a problem when when it gets to 3.2 volts uh, sorry 3 3.25 volts it shoots up to 3.6 so one of these two has got a problem but I've, I've got the match pair now that charges to, to 3.4 volts this one won't While this is off, I'm going to plug the charger in and we'll see what happens. I need 3.4 volts. I want 3.4 volts, but I'm happy with 3.3, which is basically what it's at at the minute. I'm wondering if I've changed the wrong one, you know. 23 is now going up not in accordance with the rest. Is that the one I've changed? I'm going to have a look at my videos to see what I've done. Who designed this piece of shit? I'm taking it apart again for God knows how many times. Cell number 23 is always high, always high, and I don't understand why. I've charged it and now that cell 23 is at 3.56 volts or whatever, the rest of them aren't. This charger, I've just taken it apart. I've noticed a switch, there's a constant current, constant voltage switch. It's on constant current, so as you can see I've got half an amp at 87.7 volts which equates to near enough what the BMS says that says 87.3 volts now as you can see although cell number 20 seems to have gone skyrocketed or 21 has gone skyrocketed as well 23 is now at 3.517 volts now that there you are, it's still going up uh, 518, 519 520. I don't get it. As advised by a person who's more knowledgeable than me on these matters, who's got more logical sense than me, um, as I've got a bit of a problem with the batteries and the voltages, and he said to run a bit of it off, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm, I'm not going too far because it's testing. Plus switch, I think it's going to rain and yes I have done the waterproofing or, or to an extent I've done the waterproofing on this thing but I really don't want to get caught in the rain. I still haven't done the wheel balancing. I did get the front end off the ground but that's as far as I got. Uh, I had to get this bloody battery done to get, it, get the bloody thing running properly because it's absolutely doing my fruiting. Now, I've spoken to Charles, um, who lives in Namibia. <laughs> I still can't say it. Namibia, Namibia. Yes, who lives there. And he, he seems to sort of uh, agree with me that there may be some cell voltage bouncing that going on. So, I'm wondering if that's the problem. So according to this, it says I've got 50% battery or 67%. That's purely because some of the cells are charged to three point whatever. And I have got an average voltage of about 3.3, 3.35 or something like that, which I worked it out that I lose something like about 40% battery and that actually, that meter actually agrees with me. So I've, I've got to get this figured out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this for a while and then I'm going to leave the battery pack overnight to balance 
and then I'm going to come to it tomorrow and charge it and see what happens and see if that one cell goes high fingers crossed you know you often see people that stopped at the side of the road picking grass I find it quite strange and this don't look fast but it is We'll see what the voltage says now and see if the if the charger actually charges it properly ah. right see you in one hour Yeah. I need um, a progressive what's it thing on the bars um, brake lever to increase regen I think I think that might be the way forward oh, and also I need to straighten the back wheel <laughs> oh yes! Oh, I love this thing. Hey, oh, look, we're in Thailand, going past the police. No one even bats a bloody eye. <laughs> oh my God, this thing pulls like a train, man, and it's quiet. I mean, I'm doing a ton now. Oh, this is a Patreon only. I'm doing a turn down here. Oh, actually, no, it's a 120. Is it 120? I can't remember. So I'm doing a bloody turn down here. And you can probably hear what I'm saying. It just goes to show how much the ADV resonates through the helmet. <laughs> oh, the power of this thing is incredible. How it just goes like this. <laughs> Even at this bloody speed, the torque is massive. Oh, 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 oh. Banking it, banking it. Go on, son. Go on, son. Oh. They all slow down at bends. It's got an endless amount of bloody power. Even in second, I don't use first unless I'm going through like populated areas this is where i get my medical massage right and it's a private place and it cost me 350 but he gets rid of every problem that i've got and you don't use traditional sort of ways i suppose it's elbows he uses I really do need to keep this under cover if I can. Is that possible? Should you really be eating while you're doing that? Yeah.